all the guys I date turn out to be the worst. But how do I find a good guy when I'm busy being a single mom? So let me get this straight. You're a 29 year old single mom who has kids and you have no idea how to differentiate between good men and guys who treat you like a piece of ass that pump and dump you. And the fact that you let these men get you pregnant tells me that you're not the brightest bulb by far. I can understand women dating one or two bad boys who treat them like rubbish, but in your case you went on to date a number of these men and eventually got pregnant. And since women are the goalkeepers when it comes to giving birth, which means you chose to have have children with this terrible man and never bothered to use birth control or stop the pregnancy from completing its course. And it's funny how you blame men for your problems. They are the worst, not you. You can't do anything wrong. Okay, let's keep watching. So Whitney, I have two little ones that are about the same age as yours mm. and it's a lot of work. How do you even make time to meet people or date? You know, it's nearly impossible. I not only am a single mom, but I work full time. And any free time I have is really just spent on my kids. That's right, man. A single mom schedule is never open. Single mothers are notorious to always cancel dates at the last minute. Children will always take priority and will always get in the way of her spending time with you. It's hard to have a relationship with her because she's never there. You will never be a priority. Usually, in a relationship with a single mother, the man winds up dead last. Behind her kids, her job, the car, the broken washing machine and dirty bathroom. Even the family dog gets more attention and affection than the man involved with a single mom. The only relationship a man should have with a single mother is the one that doesn't exist. And if you're a MGTOW who wants to dabble in dating, I strongly suggest you avoid dating single moms because they're looking for the next victim who will basically help her out financially and possibly even become a father figure for the kids. Single moms are not that easy to pump and dump as they have vast experience dating men who used them purely for sex in the past. So Whitney, what kind of guys do you typically date? Oh gosh, Kristen, I have a really long history of dating immature bad boys. Oh no. Yeah. I love it how women love to play the automatic victim when it comes to pretty much anything in life and especially relationships. As she just said, she has a long history of dating immature bad boys. I repeat, a long history. So either this woman is completely stupid and naive or she enjoys riding the bad boys cock carousel and I personally think it's both. In their early to mid 20s women like her have fun rejecting regular nice guys but can't stop spreading their legs for guys who are there for pure sex. Possibly this woman has very little to offer except her vagina and once the guys do their magical routine of pump and dump their bias remorse kicks in and they're out of there quicker than she can say bad boy. Um, you know, guys who like to have fun and are carefree, um, but they don't want commitment. Like I said before, women who have very little to offer except their vagina are often used and discarded by men. And with the rise of feminism and promiscuity among women, why should men commit to you when for a man to get sex in this day and age is easy and overall cheaper even if a man has to pay for it on an hourly basis? It's common knowledge that getting married to women or even cohabiting can be risky business for a man. In case of a divorce or a breakup, women tend to gain from from divorces while men lose everything and it's a well-known statistic that women initiate over 80% of all divorces so a commitment to women like you especially who had kids from previous failed relationships is like playing Russian roulette with a fully loaded revolver God, what is it about bad boys do we think that we're the one that's gonna change them but like you said I mean now you're not just looking out for yourself anymore now you have these two little children that you're responsible for as well and you need to make sure they're happy too right. it's gotta be hard I feel for you. I hate to admit this, but a lot of times I get ready in my car in between dropping the kids off at daycare. Is it just me or does anyone else notice how the blonde gets really excited about dating bad boys? Seriously, why the fuck would any guy would want to date this single mother? She has no clue how to find decent men, so if you're a decent bloke, then chances are she will not find you attractive anyway. She has no time for basics such as getting up earlier to get dressed and ready and has to do it in her car while dropping off kids off at school. Why would you want to have this type of person in your life? And guess what, if you commit to her, she will ask you to go to work while you support her and her children as she stays at home. And the best bit is you are raising another man's children. And if all of a sudden you decide to wise up down a track but you have already committed to her either by marrying this woman or moving in together, then she will take you for everything you've got. Which means you are stand to lose your home, 
cars, money and other financial assets that you worked hard for to accumulate. And chances are you're now going to be paying child support for these bastard children who are not even yours. I repeat, do not date single mothers. So Whitney, you need to follow your gut. Because if you're aware enough that you know these guys in the past have been bad for you, you probably had that gut feeling, but you just chose to ignore it. And you don't have to settle. I mean, you don't know anybody a second date. I need to be a little stricter with the kind of guys I date and not go for the jerks just because they're fun initially. Okay, let's get something straight here. I love sex. All my friends love sex. Most, if not all, men and women love sex. The most important aspect during sex is to make sure that a night of fun, or should I say 30 minutes of sex, does not turn into a creation of a mini human being. It's a really bad idea to fall pregnant with people you barely know, or people who you think may not stick around with you for a long time. By all means, go ahead dating as many jerks, assholes and bad boys as you like, even at the same time. Just make sure you're on birth control so the worst thing that can happen is you get to spread some lovely STDs. That way you can all share the love. I mean, your life sounds pretty stressful. You know, you have two little babies to look after all the time. And maybe you're dating these bad boys just to cut loose. Or maybe it's not the bad boys who are the real problem, and the woman smearing fake up all over her face is. Maybe she's the one who no decent guy wants to date and for all the right reasons. Isn't it fun the way the media always portrays women as victims who can do no wrong and it's always men who are the problem? You look absolutely gorgeous. How do you feel? Oh, it's so great. I love it. It's natural but beautiful at the same time. Oh, the glitter is just wonderful. What the fuck? She looks exactly the same just with an added layer of plaster. Remember that this woman is 29 years old. She has already hit the wall head on and is getting worse by the day. I mean, look at those flabby arms. No one wants to see that. Since she has no time for even getting ready in the morning, she will never have any time to exercise. And she most likely eats out of McDonald's and Burger King. She's what I'd call a rapidly depreciating asset. Do not, I repeat, do not date such women. Do not even pump and dump them. She could very well use your sperm to get pregnant again. Women have been known to get sperm out of used condoms or flat out lie that they're on birth control. Yay, you look beautiful and radiant, ready for your date at a theme park. We're setting you up with Jesse. He's a stand-up guy who works as a personal chef. We're sending you guys out for a classy dinner at page 71 in Studio City. No sippy cups, corn dogs, or bad boys allowed. Oh, perfect. That's exactly what I need. A date? Which idiot did not follow my advice? Hey Whitney, I'm Jesse. Hi. Nice to meet you. So nice to meet oh. you. You look beautiful. Thank you so Fantastic. much. Fantastic. Well, I got dinner inside. Okay, Would let's head like in. Jump yeah. in. Let's do it. I mean, look at this guy. He's the real definition of a stooge. Look at his style of clothes, the hair, and that bouquet of flowers. He even tells her she's beautiful. Seriously, either this bloke is a really great male chameleon who just wants some sloppy single mama ass, or he's a complete fucking stooge who's about to become a slave to a horrid female creature. I bet that wanker will even pay for her dinner. Fucking stooge. It was wonderful to sit down with someone my age. Hang on a minute. So these bad boys we keep hearing about, you mean to tell us that you have literally been fucking boys with bad attitude and got pregnant by these kids? Wow. And have an adult conversation. And the conversation just felt so natural and it flowed so easily. I had a wonderful time. She's a very inspiring woman. Like, she's got a lot on her plate and she still looks great and she's so energetic and so positive. So I had a good time. You're an idiot, Jesse. You wouldn't know an inspiring woman if she hit you in the face with a fucking shovel. If you end up committing to this broad, then you deserve every nightmare that comes with dating single mothers coming your way times by 10. You know, I'm, I'm very upfront about being a mother and telling people about that when we first start dating. Is that why none of these men commit? Because they hold you as immature and irresponsible trollop. Do you also tell these men that you got pregnant by a bunch of boys who wanted you bad? And it, it really touched my heart that he said he loved children. I mean, he was okay with that. And so it was great to be able to talk about that because that's a really big part of my life. Of course, because the next idiot who commits to you will end up adopting your kids and magically become their daddy who will support them financially until they turn 18. 
the way she describes her kids, like I'd love a chance to get to meet them and see her interactions with them because she just seems like such a caring individual. Oh, don't you worry about that, Jesse. You will end up caring for these kids all by yourself. And I will laugh my dick off when she goes out with her girlfriends to fuck some more bad boys while you stay at home looking after some other men's kids. You fucking cuckold stooge. I had a great time with Jesse, and I really hope he feels the same, and I'd love to see him again sometime. Here's the thing. A lot of single moms will stay single for the rest of their lives as their sexual value in the dating market plummets. Many will go from one short-term relationship to another. The caliber of men they attract is really low. The guys that are interested are usually in it only for sex and will jump ship when something better comes along. This is a reality for many but not all in this situation. In most but not all circumstances, I view guys who are childless and date single moms as either having low confidence or they're simply desperate. I don't date single moms as I have too many options as a single childless guy in my mid 30s. If I meet a girl who has kids, the most that they will become for me is a booty call and nothing more. It's just funny how some of these girls could literally have any guy they wanted when they were young and childless and now must dramatically lower their expectations. I really enjoyed myself and I would love to uh, I would love to get a second date out of it if I could. Yep, you're a fucking stooge. Have fun raising another man's or should I say bad boy's mistakes. Would you like to see more of Jesse? Remember to subscribe on jessiezamoron.com for more videos. No, but seriously guys, I hope you liked this video. I'm well over 1000 subscribers now and I can't thank you enough. Thank you so much to all of you in the MGTOW army. Thanks for watching, smash the like button, subscribe and bang the bell. And if you like my videos, support this channel via PayPal, Patreon or buy crypto. Drop the bass, kitty. Take us out, kitty. I got money in the bank. Shut it with your thing. <laughs>